Right, the cute factor is in. Oh, it's now yeah. time for Ask the Expert. Saying goodbye to a pet is probably the worst thing and sometimes the most difficult thing someone can do or even help your friend get through that grieving process. So joining us live this afternoon, Joe Zanicki with the Wisconsin Humane Society. And before we talk about that, we want to say hello. Brittany. To Brittany. Brittany, camera's this way. Yeah. There you go. She's a little bit shy, yes. um, but she is a big hunk of love. She's, as we were talking about in the break, she's she's pretty big, um, but she's about two and a half months old. <laughs> big sweetheart, though, just really looking for a good place to call home. Mm. Let's talk about this difficult issue about mm -hmm. losing a pet. Definitely a family member. How do you help people transition through this? There's a lot of different ways and a lot of people, everybody, it's kind of like losing a family sure. member. Mm -hmm. Everybody deals with it in their own way. Mm -hmm. um, first thing I always tell people, and we always do at the shelter is, you know, don't try to hide your emotions. It's good to just let it out. Talk to people who have pets. Remember the good times. You know, it's easy to remember the times that you're at the shelter or at the vet and it's not so great, but try to remember the good times, the walks, the, you know, cuddling on the couch, that kind of thing. Um, if you don't have friends who have dogs, go to a shelter or go to a vet and you know, see if they have any grief counseling. Oh, so what are some good tips for people who may be making that tough decision to euthanize their animal? That's always the toughest part. Um, Talk to a vet is my first advice. Go okay. get information. Um, it's really tough to do, but you know the biggest thing to remember is that hard decision could be the best one and for quality of life of, mm, of your dog. For that animal. So death is tough for adults. Got to be even more difficult for mm -hmm. children. How do you encourage uh, parents to talk to their children? Be honest with your kids, um, but also be mindful of how they process death and how they process, you know, uh, loss. Um, biggest thing is if you tell your child that the animal went to sleep make sure you're specific because you don't want the kid to think that you know somebody's going to wake up in the next few days. Sure, sure. and finally I just want to make sure before we run out of time you spoke earlier about grief counselors mm -hmm. specifically for for people who, who have lost pets do you at the Humane Society have any resources for people who may be going through that difficult time? We sure do. Um, we actually hold grief counseling sessions uh, a couple times a month. Our next one is actually tomorrow at our Milwaukee oh. campus, mm -hmm. 7 p.m. Um, you can register right on our website. Tickets are $10, and it's it's a it's a easy way to really get those feelings out there. And know that you're not alone. Exactly. All right, All right. thanks, and thanks for bringing Brittany here. All right, got a question <laughs> for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number right there for you.